Kia to whanau. Ta alofa, ma loso i fua, ma ma langi ma ma. A bit nervous today. Um, I'm an introvert. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> firstly, I just want to, um, can I just say I'm, I'm very humbled um, and, and privileged to share the stage today with some pretty inspirational, motivating speakers. So, um, Fafatai to Ariana for the opportunity uh, just to share some, share some insights into uh, our, our not, not journey, I don't say journey anymore because the word just sounds too long and never ending, but it's been our insights into our expedition into delivering supplier diversity. So I, uh, so I worked at Kainga Order for about a year and a half. Um, I saw the light and went to uh, Ministry of Education. <laughs> and um, so I guess that, that's where I learned about broader outcomes. Um, the ministry wasn't really doing much in that space and I saw a really good opportunity along with a few of my colleagues uh, to start understanding what it actually meant. Um, so we spent about six months really collaborating, reaching out to other agencies um, and, and supply partners around what, what they were doing in that space. Not much was happening apart from KO, who were doing, who were doing a little bit. Um, and uh, from there we, got, we connected with, uh, with Amotai and I, I met um, two lovely ladies, Frey and uh, Kahurangi, um, and I guess our, our, um, our, that's where our partnership started. So we started to gather quite a bit of insight uh, from those engagements and really fed that into our management team. So our management team were really, really supportive around border outcomes. They just didn't know what it was. So it was important for us to gather that insight, that intel, and feed it into the management just to give them that that education piece. So really, really important for, for, from my perspective in that they were, they, they came along on the journey. We, we took them along on that journey and we weren't just going off and trying to come up with new ways of working. So we embedded broader outcomes into our tender documents. We, broader outcomes uh, had its own evaluation criteria. Um, we partnered with Amortai. We had our construction partners partnered with Amotai, so we knew that the access to that supply chain to the Māori and Pacifica businesses was there. So it just it just made sense that we embedded it into our tender documents, and and got to a point where we actually started to set some targets, some aggressive targets. The numbers we just made up. I'll be honest, but the thing was, if we didn't try it, then we wouldn't know, you know. And I feel like a lot of agencies. So we oh yeah, we're looking at it, we're looking at it, but actually there's not much happening, right? Too much hui, not enough doing. That's what I've, I've heard in the past. So we're doing that, uh, we're being very, very deliberate, right? And you, and you have to be. You have to be deliberate in order to make effect change. For us procurement folk, we operate from a place of influence. And for, for a lot of us, Māori and Pacifica, you know, supplier diversity, there's, there's a real connection to it, right? Because it's embedded in our DNA, that connection to our people and what it means, what it means to our people to provide those opportunities. Um, the progressive procurement policy, uh, reporting was required. Our first report went up, was not great. Didn't look good, so we needed to change. We needed to be deliberate. And so we opened up an opportunity to close tender projects just to Māori, business, Māori and Pacifica businesses. Right? And that, that came off the back of the insight, but also the education that we had to do right across our business. So even within our procurement teams, but also our customers, our internal stakeholders. So really, really important that we're advocating and we're educating our business, our, our internal stakeholders, so that they understand what it actually means. Um, I'm gutted I didn't have my 30-page um, slide because technical difficulties, but <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm an introvert. Um, so, look, 
I really wanted to share the operational side of our journey. I, to be honest, I have very little interest about all that high-level stuff. It's, it's really at that operational level that that's where the impact is. That's where the work needs to happen. And so if we're talking too much about it, then you're going to keep talking about it and you'll still be on that journey 10 years from now. So, you know, for those agencies and businesses early in their journey, you know, you need, you need a dedicated resource. You really need someone to drive it. You can't be wearing two, three hats. If you think, if you think you're going to get anything, make, you know, make a difference, probably not. For us, when we've been able to achieve, um, when we've been able to award contracts to Māori Pacifica businesses, man, we're sharing them. We're, we're case studies, we're using them to drive the conversation with our stakeholders. Um, it just really helps to amplify the importance of, uh, of broader outcomes. I've got, today I've got, I've, I've got a pretty good uh, supportive team with me today. So we've got a couple of people from our infrastructure procurement group. I'm using this as a plug. Um, and I've got, more importantly, I've got our corporate procurement team who are here. They're sitting in the VIP room just over there. Um, so in the corporate space, there's, uh, they have the um, education services, there's commissioning, communities and commissioning services, uh, there's IT. So any of you folk want to network or any suppliers here in that space, um, come and see me and I can help you connect uh, with, the corporate team, with the corporate team. I was told I had 15 minutes, I hope, hopefully I'm just about there. So if I can, so there's probably keeping with the three themes or um, three takeaways for you today. Um, dedicated resource, you need someone to drive it. If you're wearing, you know, if you're in the procurement team and you're trying to drive it, that's that's great. You can you can work on it at your, at a project level, but you've got to have someone dedicated to driving it. Number two, when you've got case studies or runs on the board, celebrate. You know, we're doing that now with, with, um, with the projects we, we, we've um, been able to get across the line. We've got about 25 to 30 projects either with Amortai or in the pipeline. And that's, and that's because we've got a procurement group who have a lot more confidence to have that conversation because they've got a really good understanding about it. That goes, that's going away from my second point. But <laughs> share those wins, right? Share those wins, those case studies, um, you know, kicking goals, scoring tries, eating pies. <laughs> and then the last, my last takeaway, um, it's really for anyone out there in that space, that border outcome space, supplier diversity spaces, and I'll put a trademark on this, be, be bold, be brave and back yourself. Kia ora.